this song. Alright, so typically when I say the word mochi, I would assume most of you would think mochi ice cream. Um, coming from a traditional Japanese family, that is not what mochi is at all. Uh, so traditionally, mochi is a Japanese dish eaten uh, during the holidays, specifically New Year's. Uh, it's seen to bring good luck in the eyes of Japanese people. Kagami is a um, New Year's uh, mochi decoration that's placed around the house on New Year's Day. And it's an offering to the New Year God to bring good luck and prosperity um, in this coming year. Uh, traditional mochi is made from short grain rice, which is unlike sushi, which is a longer grain rice. And it's uh, traditionally made in a big stone bowl weighing like hundreds of pounds. That's insanely heavy, um, and it's beaten with a large wooden spoon um, until it's turned into a paste, and then it's formed into your typical iconic mochi circular shape. Uh, my family, however, our traditions are a little bit different from what is traditionally known. We put our own little spin on it. Uh, so we all meet at our family ranch the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, our entire family come from all over California, and it's truly a, a really awesome time. Of course, we're not doing it with a big stone bowl because it's really time consuming to beat for hours on end. So nowadays we have the beauty of uh, mochi making machines, which makes it really nice. Um, all the grandparents do the machines and then the grandkids shape the mochi once it comes out to the paste. Um, how we put our own little spin on it, we put stuff like chocolate in it, or we just eat it straight up with sugar, especially how I like it, because mochi is a really bland thing to eat. Uh, and what this tradition has really shown me, it's given me a connection back to my Japanese heritage, which I don't have at all. So it's been really nice to have that. Um, and it's been given me opportunities to ask my grandparents maybe how this, how they've grown up with this tradition, and how I can learn more to pass it on to my family. Uh, that concludes my presentation.